Hello Pisces, welcome to another 411 love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if I could talk. This is going to be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? So I'm going to get right into it. For Pisces, Spirit. We're going to look at what is going on in your connection, how you feel about each other, what you need to know, and a potential outcome. For Pisces, please. Or what does Pisces need to know when it comes to love? All right, Pisces, let's get into this. What is going on in this connection spirit? What messages do you have for Pisces and love now? This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So just keep that in mind. You'll know if this is your reading soon enough worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life okay what else for Pisces what else for Pisces spirit okay we got reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life this could be anybody um does not have to be somebody that you were already in a connection with Bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. I wonder if this is a situation where someone's going to come back to ask for forgiveness or ask for another chance. We'll see. I'm going to use this deck for you. For Pisces, let's get some more information. Tell me more about this connection, Spirit. What do we need to know about this connection for Pisces please nine of coin reverse well someone at least is not completely free or independent maybe they're having financial difficulties someone that does not feel very secure in themselves now this is mutual energy, so you're both here. So this could be you, Pisces, or your person. What else can you tell me about this connection? Seven of Swords. Why is this here? <laughs> I know you guys are thinking, we, um, that's why I'm watching this video for you to tell me. <laughs> but seriously, like, what's going on with the Seven of Swords? This is usually someone hiding, sneaking off, or not being completely honest, completely upfront. Sometimes it can mean that someone is being strategic, but this card's more about avoidance. What else can you tell me about this connection? Two of Cups reverse. Some sort of disconnect or separation has happened here between you and this other person. That's probably why we have the reconcili reconciliation card. Hmm. This could go both ways. Like so far, obviously I'm going to clarify and see what else we get. But so far what I see is two different messages. Either someone's trying to be strategic about getting you back, Pisces. Or someone um, being shifty ended a relationship here. Let's see. Let's see which one it is. Let me clarify these energies. For Pisces, please. Why is the nine of coin reverse? Eight of wands. Communication, movement. Why is the nine of coin reverse? Ace of pentacles reverse. Let me get one more. Let me get one more for the nine of coin reverse. Tower reverse. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, I have the six of pentacles reverse. This person could have been breadcrumbing you, or it just hasn't been an equal partnership here in some way. Either the the feelings are not mutual, or someone's not willing to put in the same amount of effort, or something like that, where it's just you're not on the same page. I feel like someone here 
has suffered a loss, either a financial loss or a, or a loss of a commitment here. I think they were too busy avoiding, trying to avoid a tower or trying to prepare for a tower that they didn't realize that something was, was going to happen. And, and, and it's like this, this happened quick. I feel like they weren't able to avoid a tower here. This could be a broken commitment, loss of a job or something like that. It could be that someone was already attached to something or someone else. And I feel like you got some sort of communication about this or something like that that led to um, led to a, a, an ending of some sort. Why is this tower here? Tell me about this tower. Reverse, please. The sun. Interesting. I feel like this brought clarity to a situation. Okay, this is a message for only a like a small number of you, but some of you found out that this person had children or a family. Why is this tower reverse? Let me get one more for this tower. Knight of Swords. This was this was big, and this was in the form of communication. You had a conversation or something like that that was very heartbreaking. Yep. There was a lot of fear here. Maybe you discovered something on social media. Maybe this was through like texting or something. I don't feel like you got closure. I have the world reverse. Something here is not clear for you. I feel like this tower came out of nowhere. And it led to a, a separation. Why is the seven of swords here? I don't know what is going on with my signs lately but you know <laughs> just once I'd love to do a very happy reading here tell me about the seven of swords who knows it's still early for this one so let's see divine timing is at play so that's always a good thing six of swords eight of swords reversed I feel like someone like ran off in the middle of the night or like that's what I'm picturing here. Yeah. The moon. There you are, Pisces. I feel like this is something that was hidden from you. What's this? Yeah, two of cups again, reverse. This is something that was hidden from you. Someone, I feel, and this could go both ways here. Someone could have discovered or caught someone else doing something they weren't supposed to be doing and left. Or someone like left in the middle of the night. Remember what I was saying? Like middle of the night and then the moon comes up. <laughs> someone like left in the middle of the night or ran away from the problem. I don't know what this Eight of Swords Reverse is doing here. I feel like someone like broke free and, and ran away. Bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles, reverse, four of wands. Could be that someone had doubt that this would ever uh, restabilize. This could be you or the, um, it could be either of you here because this is mutual energy. Devil, right after that, Capricorn energy. There's something here that was either unhealthy or off. Could be addictions, temptations, cheating. Something here was... Someone was doing something in secret. There's the devil again. Just gonna set it down here because he wants to come out. Um, someone was doing something in secret here and it led to a, a separation. I'm also picking up for some of you, someone didn't tell you something on purpose. Tell me about the two of cups. Reverse, yeah, someone wants a second chance here with the judgment card. Hmm. Tell me about the Two of Cups reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Five of Cups. Yeah, they want to recover what they've lost, but why is this Page of Pentacles reverse? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I really hope this isn't another married person reading. Why? Why is this Two of Cups reverse? Is everybody dating someone married or involved with someone married? What is going on with the married couples? Okay, whatever whatever this is, yeah, this is the same situation here. I feel like someone's worried that you're not going to take them back, that you're not going to um, 
accept them. And it probably is because they can't give you anything here. They could be already in a commitment or some something like that. They could be attached to something or someone. And it could be addictions. It could be family, like a parent. It could be um, attached to like money and how, you know, greed, you know, maybe they work too much, something like that. It could be as well. But um, with the nine of coin reverse and now the king of pentacles, I don't know, you guys, I don't like this energy. But this right here, this is like, I want a second chance. I want to regain what I've lost. And I don't know if they're going to take me back. So let's see, how do you, how are you feeling about each other at this time? Using my stellar energy oracle deck, this is available in my shop. And it's a deck that you can print at home, so it's very affordable. I got my printed at Staples, but I'm working on making this into a physical deck. We'll see how my first launch goes. <laughs> Tell me about Pisces and what they're thinking or feeling about this person at this time, Spirit. This one. Burdened heart. Difficulty, overwhelmed, tired. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So this has been a lot for you, Pisces. Can I get another one for Pisces, please? Past life. Past life connection, ex, memories. You have had a connection with this person in the past. So this person's from your past. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Oh no, why is Wedding Bells here? I love this card too. Oh, this person could be married and I don't like that Pisces. <laughs> I don't mean to get so involved in the readings. It only happens sometimes, but I don't know what's going on lately. Everybody's going through the same thing, it feels like. At least my viewers. New beginnings, see what I'm saying? This person wants a second chance. They want a fresh start with you and the bottom of the deck I have hidden motives so be very careful hmm Pisces I have you on this side I have your person on the other but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because the energies can be vice versa Tell me more, Spirit, about these energies between Pisces and this other person that they are dealing with. Tell me about Pisces. Two of coin, ten of coin, reverse. I feel like you're wondering if this person is going to make a certain choice, if they're going to choose one or the other. Eight of cups. Kind of fell in limbo here it's almost like you don't know if you want this person back or not maybe you go back and forth about how you feel about this person i feel like you're not really over the way things ended tell me about the person that pisces is dealing with perhaps because you didn't get closure or it was just too painful tell me about the person that pisces is dealing with lovers gemini energy so this person has a choice to make. When I see the lovers here, this is a choice a person has to make. Five of Swords, again, with like that whole idea of deception or not playing fair. But we have the Ace of Cups here. Again, with like the new love, new beginnings, new love. This person wants to try again, is what I'm picking up so far. So let's see, what would they secretly tell you if they had the chance? I have my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. This will be available in my Etsy shop soon. I'm still kind of like perfecting it and waiting for the proof to come back. But it should be sometime in November that this becomes available. So check out my shop. It's linked down below. My Etsy shop. All right. How is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Pisces spirit? How is this person? I desire you. Okay. How's this person thinking or feeling about Aries spirit? I'm afraid to tell you how I feel.
I want a second chance. Exactly. This person wants a second chance. I've been saying that since I started this reading. The cards don't lie. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pisces. I know this probably isn't a joke to a lot of you, but sometimes this energy is so heavy. <laughs> I have to do something or I feel like I'm going to scream. Okay, so I feel like your person definitely wants a second chance. And I feel like this the ball's in your court, Pisces. This person definitely needs to make a choice, though. I feel like with the lovers here, this could be like a, like a soulmate type of connection or a very strong connection, you know, but in the back of my mind is, is this person still married? Because what good is love if you're not really making that choice to choose me, if that makes sense, like over something else? You feel like you're ready to walk away. Some of you are ready to walk away. Because you're tired of being just someone's option. Others of you, I feel you're, you're not over what happened or the way that it happened. Like it still hurts you. And it would take a lot for you to take back this person or give them another shot. So let's see. Let's see what else we can get here. What do you need to know? What do we need to know about this connection spirit? What do we need to know? What's the 411 for Pisces and this person? What's the 411, please, for Pisces and this person? If this is resonating so far, Pisces, leave me a comment, let me know so that I don't feel like I'm speaking to no one. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm speaking out to the void. It's just me in this room with my dogs. For Pisces, please, sir. What do we need to know? Any hidden factors, blocks for Pisces and this other person? Six of Pentacles, okay. What do we need to know? I feel like there's, yeah, okay. I'll have to clarify that before I tell you what I'm seeing, but... Right when I saw that card, I thought um, things need to be balanced in order for this to move forward. I feel like I'm not sure if you're still in contact with this person. I'm not sure if this person has made you certain promises or if they've even told you how they feel. Um, I feel like for, for some of you um, that are wondering if this person feels the same way about you, they do. Um, Four of Cups. This is someone that's closed off, I feel, to an offer. This might be you, Pisces. Not really sure about this connection. If this person approaches you for a second chance, I don't know if you're going to take this offer. I feel like you're still thinking about the other cups here. Maybe focus on what already happened. And it'll be... I don't think it's going to be easy to forget the past. What else do we need to know for Pisces? Six of Cups reverse. Well, we already know this person's from the past. Tell me about the Six of Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Coin reverse. Knight of Pentacles, like sideways. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I feel like what you need to know, Pisces, is that if there's a, someone that's going to make you an offer, they're going to really need to work on it because it's going to take them, this is going to be a long time in coming. The Knight of Pentacles, he's kind of in limbo here, but whether he's upright or reverse, he takes forever. The Ten of Coin, this is either a family situation or uh, something to do with finances, assets. I'm not really seeing this as long-term commitment. I'm seeing this as kind of like something that's, that's preventing a full equal partnership here. This could even be someone's parents.
Now with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm telling you, like this is someone that really needs to work on um, recon like bringing about some sort of reconciliation because the way that they behaved was not good. Yeah. They need to really think about how they're going to approach you because their approach is going to determine the success of this connection. And here I have the lovers again with the five of pentacles reverse. This person wants back in out of the cold. Tell me about this four of cups. Whoa. This is a lot, but okay. Actually, no, it's just two. The sun reverse, the tower. I feel like this is coming like out of left field. You're, you, this is like hidden, shocking, surprising. Um, this is not something that you're really expecting because I have the sun reverse. So it's almost like the, this is done in the dark or the, the, there's no, not a lot of like sunlight or clarity or something's not being done in your face is how I see that with the, with the tower here. I feel like this person's going to come in, open up or something like that, make you some sort of an offer or just even just try to communicate with you. Tell me about the Four of Cups. I'm also picking up that something that you need to know for a small number of you, your person, they're not happy where they're at and they're going to cause a tower. Tell me about the Four of Cups. But I'm not picking that up for a lot of you. The Lovers, yeah. Someone here can make a, a certain choice. What's this? Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy, to make a move here, come see you. There could be distance between you and this person wants to close the gap. Gemini energy with the lovers. This is about a choice and I feel like this is kind of something, uh, yeah, I have the three of wands. It's like kind of something that um has been, I was going to say has been a long time coming is what, what I was going to say. And then I saw the three of wands here and I was like, yeah, someone's been waiting for this. Why is the six of cups reverse? Yep. I'm telling you, this person wants a new beginning. This is someone that wants a new beginning with you. Hold on, I was sloppy. Can get one more for the six of cups reverse and they are not they've never been over the past or over what happened this could be you as well but i feel like this is more your person that wants a new beginning wants to reconcile yeah they want back out out of the cold like i've been two of cups at the bottom this person definitely wants you back pisces um they want a new beginning with you here like look at this it's pretty clear to me However, you know, wanting and doing are two different things. Have the, the higher front back there. So someone needs to do something about this. Because I don't like this energy of trying to have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> or it could just be that I don't like this energy of someone just, you know, loving you from afar. But not willing to do what it takes. So let's see. What's the potential outcome for you Pisces? I'm going to pick a couple cards here, then I'm going to take this to the extended where I'm going to clarify the outcome. We're going to look at this person's potential, not potential, but true intentions and potential next actions towards you. What's the potential outcome between Pisces and this other person's spirit? Potential outcome, please. okay high priestess reverse what is the potential outcome here between pisces and this other person if this resonates with you and you'd like to check out the extended the link is in the description box right below this video if you'd like a personal reading or to know how to get my decks or anything like that all of that's in the description box also if you'd like to learn how to interpret the tarot for love Check out my ebook. I go over all 78 cards, upright and reverse, and how you can interpret them for love. Wow, I got the High Priestess reverse, the sun. Something's very clearly coming to the light here. Something's coming to the light. But then I have the Knight of Swords reverse. So 
So either the message is intercepted or blocked or delayed, or someone's not telling you everything. Perhaps you're gonna find out that this person didn't tell you everything and that's what's gonna be the big reveal for you. Bottom of the deck, I have the page of coin reversed again. So I feel like this is someone that, at least for now, either they're very delayed in bringing you something even like small and solid, or this is someone that cannot even commit to you a little bit. If this person's afraid to tell you how they feel, for some of you, this person maybe hasn't been open about um, the future that they imagine with you or the fact that they want a second chance. And this could be like the big reveal for you. But even if that were to happen, even if this person's gonna tell you something about how they truly feel about you, Pisces, I feel like there's something that they're still not gonna tell you. It's like, it's not gonna be the full picture. Now the sun could be, you know, clarity. It could also be good news. Something to celebrate, something that makes you happy. You might be happy to hear from this person. Um, but don't let that carry, you know, don't get carried away with the fact that this person's communicating with you. You know, make sure your intuition is nice and strong so you can determine and get all the information, you know, determine if this person's telling the truth and get all the information that you really need, you know. So leave me a comment. Let me know how this resonated for you. If you'd like to support the channel for free, then just hit the like button and subscribe. That helps out a lot. Thank you to everyone who's already done that. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you. Take care. I don't know what just happened there, Pisces. <laughs> Take care.